hello everyone so welcome to a new video in this video we're going to talk about the custom repeatable section or settings for our custom block first we have to declare an attribute and that will be an array so that it can store multiple values suppose we want to store the multiple titles and want to display them in our editor and font and view so i'm going to create an array attributes like titles or links like links or you can make it this title and this is an array and default value is total blank and secondly just I'm going to distract the titles yeah in our panel body so just we have to first create a button so that we can click on this button and when we will click on this button it will create a new title informations we can use a button component or we can use a simple HTML button I am just going to use a simple HTML button like this button I give the title or the level of this button like add a new that's it and on click function like this one on click when you're going to click this function what will happen is in this area we'll just set attributes set attributes mean first we have to attributes all of these titles are like all titles existing all titles so we're going to use our so, a spread operator so that it can uh, it can take the wall titles and second we will pass the informations over to a new title like new title you can pass a default value or you can keep it blank I am just going to keep it totally blank and most important part is that we have to pass an ID for is new title and this I do will be auto increment so how can we do this first we have to do uh, measure the length of the title existing title then we will simply just add plus one so that uh, it stems when we add the new title then this title then this the ID will be uh, increased uh, will be in uh, increased automatically so our title that's my idea will be the titles that length plus one uh, so it will first determine the length of the existing soul titles and then it will simply uh, add one so this time we will get an unique and a unique id for is uh, new titles so this is our first duty and if you run this we will find out a simple button and you can see and this is the simple button but nothing happening here so what is our next duty our next duty is to uh, find out the way we'll check if there is any titles or not first title if there are any titles then we'll uh, runs a map function that will return uh, the setting for the is title so return and next depth suppose we want to take the simple restricts or we can text control simple text control like this one that's it Give the title for the list text. Oh, sorry, this for the text control like uh, title, a title, and this below will be this title, the title. We can also remove this one with like item, so that we can understand it better. Item the title, and inside this area like the value. Sorry, I understand this area. What will happen? 
first we will check for this new titles and this new title is your all previous title plus we'll pass uh, conditions like we'll check this index and title and we'll set the value for this new title and finally set attributes titles will be equal to the new titles array so this is our duty all information is done what is the problems yes it is okay there is a simple problem unexpected comma that's it yeah now it is working fine but we need to import this text control from here like this text control yeah and now if i go back so i'm fresh you can see this is our settings and so all right we have to click one you can see our three new title three title click four title and if you update and refresh we'll see there are four titles against five title and now these fields are repeatable that's mean you can add a new items here and now we can display these titles here so we'll pause titles and titles just to simply write on a simple um, for the list items in the titles case of index right and it will be this and this sorry this one now it is fine if we refresh and see you can see there are five titles if we add new ones another title we can also pass a default value from here like this now it is blank but if we pass a default value like a default text and if we click you see this is our default text and the title at six position this one and this information so now visible in your editor if you want to make this visible in the front end we can simply do it the same way titles just i'm going to copy this information and post that's it mm, refresh yeah if i see the result of the front end yes it is working fine so i think i understood how to create uh this a repeatable custom repeatable section or setting for a custom block if you have any questions you can let me know thank you